Almost half of those people living with HIV are on treatment now or have started treatment. Uh, we've lowered infection rates in many parts of the world. Uh, people are living longer, they're living better lives. So we've made great progress, but we have to sustain that progress over decades. Uh, we still have another 20 or so million people who need to start treatment over the next few years. We need to lower the rates of the new infections very dramatically, and that's probably the area where we're lagging uh, the most greatly. Uh, and so there's a, lot of, there's a lot more work to do. Our main message for the conference is that since the Fast Track Initiative was started in 2014, we've learned a lot about how to do things, what's working, what isn't working. And so what we've done here at the Yoplang Institute over the last year is held seven meetings to look at what are the challenges that we're facing based on the data that we've seen over the last four years and begin to talk about solutions to those challenges. We have very ambitious goals to meet, uh, yet we're trying to meet those goals with insufficient funding, rising rates of HIV drug resistance, repeated and rising reports of drug stockouts all around the world. Uh, we know that we haven't reduced new infection rates enough, particularly amongst key populations of men who have sex with men, sex workers, and drug users. Uh, and uh, we have growing uh, threat of new infections among young adults and adolescents, particularly young women and girls. And uh, if we don't address those challenges, we will not be able to control the epidemic. We're asking all of the participants at this session to have honest, frank conversations about what's not working and how are we going to address the shortcomings that we're facing. If we don't address those shortcomings, we can't reach our goal of ending AIDS.